Welcome back to Gurung Pinoy. This is Coach Mac, and in today's MASH, our module assistance for students help desk, we are back with Science 6, week number 3. All right, now today's topic is factors affecting solubility. We start with the definition of some terms first. The first term that we have here is solution. This is a homogeneous mixture with two parts, the solute and the solvent. Now, when you say homogeneous mixture, this means this is a type of mixture where you cannot see the different parts or the different parts are not distinct. All right, so we have two parts of your solution, the solute, that is a substance that you dissolve, and your solvent, of course, that would be your dissolving substance. So in this example here, our salt is the solute because that is a substance that we're trying to dissolve. And of course, water, we know this to be the universal solvent, and we know that water can dissolve a lot of substances, okay? So in this salt water solution, again, your solute, the substance that you dissolved was salt, and your solvent is water. It is the dissolving substance. The next word that we have here is solubility. When you say solubility, this is the maximum amount of solute that will be dissolved by a specified amount of solvent. Okay, so there's actually a limit as to the amount of solute that your solvent can dissolve. And we call that its solubility. Another term that we have here is concentration. This is the amount of a dissolved substance or your solute per unit volume of a solution. Now your solution can be described according to their concentration. So if you have a solution that has very little amount of solute, then you'd call that a diluted solution. If you have a solution that has too much of your solute, then you'd call that your concentrated solution. Now, there are several factors that can affect a solute solubility. The first one would be temperature. And the second one here would be stirring or agitation. Now, it is very important for you to know that both of these have direct relationships with solubility. That means if we increase the temperature, then solubility would also be increased. That is the reason why we are using hot water whenever we make coffee or milk. Stirring is the same way. The more you stir, the greater would be the solubility. Let's take a look at what's in in your module. Right check whether the given solute is soluble and X if it is not soluble in the given solvent. Okay, now in chemistry, we have a rule that we call like dissolves like. That means your organic materials or organic solvents can dissolve organic solutes while your inorganic solvents can dissolve your inorganic solutes, okay? I'm going to explain that as we go over the different examples that we have here. Okay, so salt and water, we know that salt, of course, is soluble in water, so that's a check. Nail polish and acetone, yes, that's a check because we use acetone to remove our nail polish. Paint and water, we know that that's X because paint cannot be dissolved in water. Pepper and soy sauce, yes, that is soluble. And flour and oil, this is an X because we know that whenever you mix flour and oil, your flour will not be completely dissolved. Let's move on to the next page. Using the illustrations, identify which of the following substances can be dissolved in water. So again, like dissolves like. Even if we call water our universal solvent, there is still a limitation as to the materials that it can dissolve. Sugar, of course, that can be uh, dissolved in water. Milk, it actually depends. If it's powdered milk, then it can be dissolved in water. Although you are going to have a murky solution, that means your solution is going to be cloudy. If it's liquid milk, it's still going to be the same, okay? So it's going to be dissolved, but not completely. And what you have is a murky solution, okay? But it's not going to have complete solubility. Now, nail polish, we know that this cannot be dissolved in water. Salt, yes. And of course, paint, that's an X. Okay, now we go to what's new. In the given situation, identify what factors affect the solubility of the following materials. Choose your answer inside the box and write your answer on your notebook. So you have different choices here. There's temperature, nature of solute, manner of stirring, amount of solvent, and of course, the size of the solute. 
All right, question number one. It tells about whether the solvent is in liquid, solid, or in gas form, okay? Now, we can actually answer here the nature of the solvent. Nature of solvent, not nature of solute. So that can be number one. But instead of nature of solute, you should change this to nature of solvent. It depends on how fast or slow mixture is steered or was steered. Of course, this should be manner of steering. It tells whether the solute is soft or hard, powder or whole piece. That would be the size of your solute. Okay, so this is number three. It tells how hot or cold is the solvent mixed in a mixture. Of course, that should be your temperature. And the last part, it tells how much solvent is mixed in a mixture. That should be the amount of your solvent. Okay, so that should be your answer, except, of course, for number one, that should be nature of solvent, not nature of solute. We go to what's more. Complete the following by choosing the correct word inside the parenthesis to complete the sentence. Okay, now number one, solubility is increasing or decreasing as temperature is rising. We know that temperature is directly proportional to your solubility, so this should be increasing. Okay, as temperature increases, solubility also increases. Solubility is increasing or decreasing as temperature is decreasing. That should be decreasing this time. Okay, now next, which substance is more soluble, sugar or flour? The correct answer would be sugar because, of course, sugar has smaller particles, okay, smaller sizes. What will be the most effective means of increasing the dissolving rate of sugar in water? You should be using higher temperatures. So you should use hot water or you can also use faster stirring method. Okay. Which solvent dissolves the sugar most quickly? Water, alcohol, or mineral oil? Of course, you know that the correct answer would be water. So water, of course, is the universal solvent. Okay, we go to what I can do. Read the questions carefully. Give the answer for the following. Uh, what is the quickest way to dissolve milk in water? Can milk dissolve in all solvents? Explain your answer. Okay, so your answer here, of course, would be to increase the temperature of your water. That is to use hot water to increase the manner of stirring or to stir it fast. And can milk dissolve in all solvents? It's not going to be completely soluble. Your solution is going to be murky or cloudy. Okay, how are substances dissolved? Substances can be dissolved by using the different solvents that you have. If you'd want to increase solubility, of course, you need to increase the temperature of your solvent. You need to stir fast, and you can also reduce the size of your solute. Okay, make your, make your solute in powder form. All right, now we go to the last part, which is assessment. Read the following and choose the letter of the correct answer. Number one, to make a solution, you need a blank. This is the substance that gets dissolved. Of course, you know that this is your solute, so that's letter B. Which of the following describes solubility? The, the ability of liquid to change color, the ability of something to dissolve in a liquid, the time it takes for something to settle at the bottom of the liquid, the speed of pouring a liquid out of a container. Correct answer, of course, would be letter B, ability of something to dissolve in a liquid. Next one, a greater amount of sugar will dissolve in warm water than in cold water. What is the factor affecting solubility? Of course, your answer would be temperature, letter A. Which of the following does not affect the solubility of, a solid, of solid solutes? Volume of solvent, temperature, stirring, or amount of mixture? The correct answer, of course, would be letter D, amount of mixture. Number five, solubility is blank as temperature increases. It's also increasing, letter A. It is one of the factors that affect solubility, and it depends on how fast or slow mixture is stirred. That would, of course, be letter A, manner of stirring. Next one, it tells about whether the solvent is in liquid, solid, or in gas form. The solvent, so that should be nature of solvent. It tells whether the solute is soft or hard, powder, or a whole piece? The correct answer, of course, would be the nature of solute. Number nine, it tells how hot or cold are the solvents mixed in a mixture. Of course, that will be temperature. Number 10, what is known as the universal solvent? That is water. Okay, now for your additional activities here, choose what solute can be dissolved in the given solvents to complete the statements below for one. Numbers 1 to 5, choose your answer inside the box. For numbers 6 and 10, fill in the blanks to complete each statement. Okay, now you have the different solvents here. 
Okay, so for cold water, you can have powdered juice because usually we drink our juice cold. For alcohol, that should be ink. Hot water, we can have sugar for this. For vinegar, we can have salt. Okay, and acetone, of course, we can have nail polish. Now, so number six, acetone can dissolve blank, but not the blank. Okay, of course, we know that acetone can dissolve nail polish, but not sugar, powdered juice, or salt. Hot water can easily dissolve blank and blank, okay? You can choose sugar or maybe you can also choose salt, okay? Chocolate drink can easily be dissolved in blank water than in blank water. The answer, of course, would be hot water than in cold water. Number nine, a pinch of salt can be easily dissolved in water than in oil. And last one, stirring blank makes the powdered juice dissolve easily in cold waters stirring fast okay makes the powdered juice dissolve easily in cold water this has been coach mech of guru pinoy please don't forget to like follow and subscribe to all our social media accounts i leave you the saying maliit man na butil na mga kaalaman ang dulo nito ay malaking kaginawaan